going on guys? I'm gonna wait for everybody to log in. <clears throat> it's early Sunday morning, ain't it? I just wanna share with you guys a quick word that God gave me while I was sitting out here on guard duty. All right, a lot of people, they, they have a misconception of what victory is. They're waiting for the enemy to be gone. They're waiting for the perfect conditions, all right, for them to consider moving forward and being everything that God's called them to be, for them to feel like they have the victory. But interesting thing, I was thinking about Paul this morning, and he had a thorn in his side, and three times he prayed. He said, God, you know what? Can you remove this thorn from me? And what did he say? He said, no, my grace is sufficient for you. Sometimes that thorn in your side is the only thing that's keeping you saved. It's the only thing that's keeping you praying right. If God removed that thorn from your side, you wouldn't be what God was calling you to be. You wouldn't have the relationship that you need to have in order to be successful. A lot of times God is allowing you to face that enemy so it can toughen you up. It's kind of like having a sparring partner when you box, all right? The sparring partner, he prepares you for the big fight. A lot of times if you look at the story with Job, you can look at your situation, you can look at your conditions, you can see the enemy all around you, you can see what's going on in your marriage, you can see what's going on in your life and complain, or you can say, you know what, all things are going to work together for my good. I see the enemy out there, I see the enemy attack me, but the Bible says, count it not strange, count it not strange when you get attacked. These things are going to happen. You might as well get used to it. But what you know, according to the word, is that all things will work for your good. So sometimes you're looking for a miracle. You're looking for God to heal you. You're looking for God to fix your marriage. You're looking for him to fix all the problems in your life. But he's saying, no, my grace is sufficient for you. Because I've put that thorn in your side, that's what's keeping you saved. That's what's keeping you praying. That's what's keeping you fasting. If I remove that thorn, you wouldn't be where I want you to be. So really, you're looking at your situation in front of you and you're saying, man, th this is too much for me to handle. And you're thinking that it's a setback, but really it's a set up. God is preparing you for something. All right. So sometimes he allows the enemy to attack you so you can sit there and you can get hit. And when you get hit, you'd be like, man, psh, oh, I'm still standing. You understand what I'm saying? God wants you to have that trust. It's kind of like this, right? I'm sitting here in this small position. I don't know if you guys can see this. I got to be real careful. I'm sitting right here in this small position, right? And all I've got is this M4. But if you look over there, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a truck over there. And on that truck, there's a big old 50 cal. So out here, right, the enemy, they can try to ca cross that Constantino wire and they can try to come and attack me, all right? And I might have this little M4, but behind me, there's a big 50 cal backing me up. So when the enemy comes and attacks you, you got to remember that there's a big God behind you. If there's a Goliath in front of you out there, that means that there's a David inside of you. What you're going through is for a reason. And sometimes, you know what, you want to understand and you're like, God, why is this happening to me? And you feel like Paul and you're sitting, sitting there saying, Lord, fix this situation. Why haven't you healed me? Why haven't you changed my situation the opposition makes you stronger the pain makes you trust God more that that situation that's too big for you it allows you to be in a situation where you have no choice but to have faith in God and so God allows you to go through that so you can get to that place where you trust him you look at the story of Noah right Noah survived the flood what flood are you facing in your life you feel like you're just flooded with problems. You're flooded with all kinds of drama, flooded with all kinds of stress. But what happened after the flood? After Noah survived the flood, he was on the mountaintop. The flood took him from down here to the mountaintop. And that's what's happening in your life. God is trying to take you from down here to the mountaintop. And it's not going to be easy. Whoever told you that Christianity is easy, whoever told you that you're going to be blessed all the time, they lied to you. It's a fight. And you got to be watching and praying that you don't be destroyed. You got to watch and protect your camp. You got to protect your dream. You got to protect your vision. The enemy is going to attack you. If you're a threat to the enemy, he's going to attack you. You might as well get used to it. He's going to see you and he's going to say, how can I steal that dream? How can I steal that guy's motivation? How can I steal his fire? So he's going to attack you however he can, but you got to be sitting there with your spiritual weapons ready, looking. A lot of people, what they're doing, they're falling asleep. They're falling asleep behind their weapon, and that's why they're getting destroyed. That's why they never live to their full potential. God wants to use you, but because he wants to use you, the enemy's going to try to attack you and steal everything that God is trying to do in your life. And the fact is, sometimes God is going to let the enemy touch you. Sometimes he's going to let you go through it. Just like Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego went through the fire, Daniel went through the lion's den, Joseph went from the pit to the palace, Jesus went from the cross to the grave to glory. 
you've got to go through something. Everybody in the Bible who went through something, it was a fight. You might have been feeling like you've been fighting your whole life to get the dream for your vision, for your family, but that's because the enemy is going to attack you. You're not going to get it without a fight. And remember, if you just stay in the fight and you don't run away, you're always one swing away from victory. Hey, you guys be blessed in Jesus' name. Be encouraged. Go ahead, share this video and have a wonderful day. God bless you. I just wanted to encourage you and let you know that it's going to be a fight and sometimes God put that thorn inside and you're going to be struggling with insecurity, struggling with fear, struggling with marriage problems and God's not going to fix it because he wants you to trust him and that's the only thing that's keeping you humble. What, the reason why God put that thorn in your side is to keep you humble. He wants to bless you with something great but he wants to put something there to remind you to stay humble. Every time someone compliments you and gives you praise and says, man, you're doing such an awesome job, you're reminded of that thorn that you have on your side. And that's what keeps you from being too big headed. That's what keeps you from being arrogant. That's what makes you. That's why God sends you out to the battle wounded with a thorn in your side so you can give him the praise, give him the glory when you get the victory. That's what God wants to do. He wants to get the glory. He wants to give you the victory. He wants to take you to the mountaintop, but he wants you to admit, man, I didn't do it by my own strength. I didn't do it by my own might. I didn't do it by my own power. I got this thorn in my side and I'm limping. But the Bible says the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. Your hurt steps, your broken steps, your weak steps, all of it. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name.